Shane Matthews spent a lot of time thinking about the technology and the ethics involved here. Shane, welcome. Thank you for having me on the show. We're glad to have you here. And in that piece of tape that we just heard, I think part of what throws me is just how natural it sounds, this bot saying, mm-hmm, and ah, oh, and what is the reason for making it sound quite so natural? I think that was just technology for technology's sake, to be honest. And you see Google actually, after that announcement, they came out and said, we're going to have a disclosure that it is a robot before it gets on the phone. This was a big question at this conference over whether Google had some responsibility to tell people, hey, this is a robot that you're talking to. 100%. I think you're going to see that. You know, this call is being recorded for quality purposes, what you see today. I think there's going to be a lot more of that needed to disclose when it's a robot, when it's not. Is it as basic as saying hi by the way you're talking to a bot? Or even think about it in the assistant world, is like this is Shane's assistant. It is an automated assistant, and it is trying to help Shane get things done. I want to play one more sample. This is Duplex calling a hair salon. Hey, how may I you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For table? Um, it's for four people. Is there a big market for this? I mean, one of the things that blew my mind about this was that many people were still making phone calls to do things like schedule brunch in an era where we're all used to apps and just punching in our res the reservation time we want. It's crazy how big it is, huh? Like 60% of people still call. I think this is where it has a real advantage for small businesses. They don't have the resources today to have a great scheduling system. The other side of this is Google. What if they just said, hey, Next time, instead of us calling you, would you like us to respond with the robot on your side? And then bots are going to be talking to bots. Which is further mind-blowing, yes, that the person answering the phone and carrying out this reservation process would also be a robot, and that it all just auto-populates on your calendar? Is that where this is all headed? Probably, yes. I think what the dream of Google is really saving time on both sides, so it becomes an intent world. Shane wants to get a haircut, the salon wants to cut hair. Everything in the middle is just saving people time, and new laws need to be created.